Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, just want to come on, come on and um, talk about something I got in the mail um, when I got back in from uh, Lama Mama Kayla's. I had some happy mail, <laughs> so I wanted to d just go over that with y'all. I didn't. I, I saw these. I knew I was expecting something from Michaels. Some some yarn I ordered. Uh, a second part of uh, an order that I had placed last week. <laughs> anyway, I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting a couple of Amazon packages. So, I'll be showing this to y'all. And so, my, uh, apparently my new, uh, my new pal. <laughs> okay, the gift, the gift uh, note says, Thank, thank you for the wonderful devotionals. Enjoy your gifts from Disabled Dreamer. Thank you. The devotionals are near and dear to my heart. And for the new subscribers, um, I do daily devotionals that I release at 11 o'clock every night. Because uh, I have some night owls that like to read, the, like to listen to them before they go to bed. And... Um, so, I hope y'all enjoy them as much as my existing subscribers uh, enjoy them. Uh, it's uh, something that I feel called to do and I have been doing uh, since early last year. Anyway, on my and, um, what Disabled Dreamer has done is went and got my Amazon wish list <laughs> and sent me some goodies from there. This one is a, is a sticker that goes on the that will go on the back of my van and this one says do you follow jesus this close <laughs> how appropriate is that <laughs> for all those little uh people that like to uh you know tailgate you <laughs> that will get them thinking do you follow jesus this closely <laughs> they should they really should <laughs> And then in another envelope, as if as if she wasn't generous already. And and just the other day, it was I think it was yesterday she had sent the uh, pulse ox meter. Oh my goodness. I say she, uh, you know, I'm assuming she. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't assume. And then this beautiful coloring book. It is not just a coloring book. This is art. This is someone's art. Someone drew these pictures. It's a um, 101 flowers coloring book. Now this is a very nice, I mean, there's coloring books and then there's this coloring book. This coloring book is beautiful. Let me tell you, the, the pictures in this is, I mean, look at that. You don't want to use crayons on this color, this coloring book. You know what I mean? You won't, this is not something you would want to use crayons in. You want to use uh, coloring pencils, colored pencils, which I have professional coloring pencils. I have really nice uh, colored pencils. I have watercolor pencils and regular uh, pencils, uh, large sets that uh, I'll be using on these. This'll, this'll fill that void that painting left. left. Um, and look at that, look how beautiful that is. There was one that I saw, and it, and it tells you what the, what the um, what the name of the uh, flower is. It gives you, I think it's giving you the Latin name for it, and then it gives you a description of the flower. I know I saw a sunflower in here somewhere, but uh, well, there's another one. Look at that! Just so much detail. You can't get that much detail with a crayon. It's just uh, stunning. It's really just stunning. I know there's a sunflower in here somewhere. I saw it earlier. But, I mean, really. And this one is like, I think these are succulents. But look at that. Just beautiful. And with the coloring book, She sent these. This was also on my 
Now, this is something different. This is something like um, this I'll be using with the color the colored pencils to give uh, a extra pizzazz to the, the flowers. This is uh, this is pearl essence. Um, it it makes them look shiny. You know, like um, I don't know how to explain it. But they're not quite crayons, that, even though Crayola does make these. Um, but that and, and, and these are water soluble, meaning I can use them a little bit like watercolors. I can put just a little bit of water on them and use them to bl and blend them, meaning I could just put, you know, special touches to the pictures with these, with just a teensy bit of water. So. Um, Wow. <laughs> so this is going to give my pictures an extra. I do have some um, watercolor uh, paper, you know, in a, in a pad, you know, that I could also use these with. Because this paper is not that, the paper in this coloring book is not that thick. So this, it might not be appropriate for these. But um, I definitely have some um, watercolor paper, uh, which is very thick, almost like cardstock. And de these definitely will be used for that because I do draw. So I do draw some. I'm not a great drawer, but I do like to draw. I like to draw uh, abstract uh, shapes and stuff like that. And then I like to just play with colors. So, um, and this will kind of um, help me not miss painting. I'll put it that way. Uh, I, I couldn't get myself back into painting for some reason. I had lost my passion for it. Uh, I painted for many years from like since 2016 until just recently. I, I tried to get into it and I painted for several, several hours uh, a couple of times. And I just couldn't get, for some reason, I just uh, seemed to have lost my flair for it. I, and I couldn't get things to paint to line up right. I couldn't get um, get it to layer just right. So, um, you know, it was just difficult to get things lined up properly and um, get, it just wasn't going like I felt like it should be going. And, um, and so I was like, well, you know, my passion has shifted to crochet and um, I guess I, you know, I just need to accept that and, um, I still, I still feel the need to pick up colored pencils uh, on occasion and, and color and coloring books. And um, it's just therapeutic. It's just very therapeutic. And I love to play with color and coloring books and, and, and just make, you know, different colors do things. And uh, that's, you know, therapeutic to me still. Uh, but uh, as far as actual painting and everything, that, that part, that um, passion has left me. And I'm okay. I just had to make peace with that. I had to give myself the grace to be at peace with it, because I, uh, I guess I just felt like I had spent so much money on supplies that I should be able to force myself back into it. Um, but you can't force something like that. Uh, and I just had to accept that. And it was not an easy thing to accept. Uh, but uh, luckily, I was able to post online um, my painting supplies, and I was able to recoup some of my money. So <laughs> I did turn around and spend most of it on groceries, but you know, I was able to recoup some of my money. So um, when you live on a fixed budget, uh, you, <laughs> you get a little extra money in your pocket, you do tend to just be responsible with it sometimes and i was just having to uh, meet the lady in in the walmart parking lot and so and i had to go in and pick up a prescription and while we we're in there picking up prescriptions my youngest son was with me and he's like well we do need some grocery items he does most of the cooking so i was like oh okay so we moseyed on over to the grocery side and next thing you know most of the money was spent on groceries so it didn't none of it go to waste. It just, you know, I'm like, okay, well, right back into the household it went. So nothing went to waste, but, uh, 
Anyway, so thank you, Disabled Dreamer, for my more happy mail. And I don't know how to say thank you enough. It was definitely a pleasant surprise to get back from um, my visit with Kayla and have happy mail. It was just a very pleasant surprise and very unexpected. And uh, I'm super grateful. Uh, also super grateful to all of you new subscribers. I hope you come and stay. And I hope you like what you see. Uh, I will do my best to uh, do more videos that uh, you, uh, you guys uh, can uh, look forward to. Um, Kayla is mentoring me on how to, you know, do better on my videos and put more videos out. And so she definitely uh, knows how to do that better than me. <laughs> she structures her videos properly. And so she's helping, she's teaching me how to do that too. So um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, maintain, um, you know, my subscribers and, and, you know, keep people interested like she keeps people interested. And, um, you know, stay, stay on, stay at it as long as the good Lord sees fit for me too anyway. So I do also want to remind everybody that we are, I'm still running the 900 subscriber uh, giveaway until this coming Sunday, April 2nd. So I will uh, include the link to that giveaway in the description box of this video as well. I did include it in last night's video, um, in the description of last night's video, because uh, I want as many people to enter as possible. I want everyone to have a chance. And so, uh, just go and uh, watch that video and leave your comment. And um, yes, it is, uh, the physical prize will be for the lower 48, um, but it, uh, don't if you're out of the lower 48 of the United States, don't uh, be you know shy in entering because there'll be a monetary prize for anyone that's outside of the lower 48. So um, I will still make sure that you get something uh, probably like a $25 Amazon card or PayPal or something like that. So, um, you might not get the physical prize because of the price of postage, but you'll get something, um, in, in the, so in the monetary range. So, um, thank you all for watching and, um, hopefully you hit the thumbs up for me. And if you hadn't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It is free. And, um, the sooner I get monetized, the more giveaways I can do. So I'm hoping to uh, do monthly giveaways, uh, probably starting in May, since I'm doing the nine. I'm, I'm wrapping up the 900 subscriber giveaway for the first part of April. I'll start a monthly giveaway starting in May, and of course, all my giveaways include yarn, so uh, and good yarn. Um, Hopefully y'all will uh, stick around for those and um, hope you have a wonderful evening or day or morning, whatever the case may be. And uh, <laughs> God bless you. And uh, remember that I love you and so does Jesus. Uh, and please adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I will see you again soon. Bye now. <laughs>